most Fire Emblem installments, we've always gotten some iteration of that one character. You know the one. The Flirt. The failed Casanova. In Blazing Blade, it was Sane. In Sacred Stones, we had Joshua. Awakening, we had Virian and Inigo. Fates had Inigo again, along with Soleil. And Echoes had... Jesse, I think, I don't, I don't, I don't know what Jesse actually does in this game. They all have a propensity toward flirting with every girl they come across in an attempt to woo them, and usually miserably failing. However, the one thing they all share in common is that despite their many failings, they do usually manage to pull themselves together and actually settle down with someone, or at least we assume so with Jesse over here, since he doesn't actually support with any women in his game. Go figure. Well, actually, that's all of them but one. From Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, None other than our boy, Gatry. Oh, poor Gatry. Unlike many of the other characters in this trope, I really feel bad for this guy. Sure, he's flawed like the other characters in this trope, but getting to his ending in Radiant Dawn only to find that he doesn't end up with anyone in the end, it's really heartbreaking for a character like Gatry. So what separates him from the rest of the pack? Why didn't he get the ending he deserved, and can we give him one? Well, sure, I think so. Gatry is one of the original Grail mercenaries, along with Shinon and Titania. Gatry is, in my opinion, a wonderfully flawed character. Though he's strong, capable, positive, and confident, he's also incredibly naive, overly trusting, and incredibly dependent. Which can be problematic when put up against his most notable quality, his flirtatious behavior. Like those before and after him, Gatry has a tendency to hit on and admire many of the women in the game like Marcia or Ilyana. Unlike the others, however, Gatry is portrayed more like a goofball than a scoundrel. He's generally pretty inept when it comes to talking with ladies, and, well, it often leads to shenanigans. Gatry's ending in Radiant Dawn states that he, quote, became a famous mercenary and a household name. Fate led him to find many women, but never true love. Well, screw that, because the person Gatry should have ended up with is obviously Astrid. Think about it, the first thing Gatry does after leaving the Grail mercenaries is to go work as Astrid's bodyguard. Astrid, as we later found out, partially left home to become a knight of Benyon to avoid being married to Duke Lacane. Yeah, this ugly motherfucker. Yeah, I don't blame her. She also wanted to get a taste of having a life away from the shackles that the nobility burdened her with. You're some noble house's daughter, are you not? What made you decide to become a knight? To escape my royal family. No, not to escape, but to confront it. I want my life to be my own. So why the hell wouldn't she fall for someone like Gatry? a hard-working knight who decides to loyally serve her as her bodyguard as she learns to become a knight like she always wanted. That sounds perfect for her. Sure, he can be kind of dim-witted and there is, of course, the ladies' man shtick, but Astrid barely if at all registers that because she is also pretty naive, as we can tell from the supports. Astrid asks Gatry to train her. Actually, will you teach me how to fight like a mercenary? Uh, you want to fight like a mercenary? I don't have much fighting experience. I want to learn so that I can hold my own in battle. I don't want to be a burden. Oh, I get it. That's very admirable, Astrid. Of course, Gatry obviously has the motive to woo her, but obviously they have a relationship based on mutual respect. Of course, at the end of the support, she tells him about her engagement, though not the details. And this is played for laughs for some reason? I don't have a boyfriend, but I do have a fiancé. What? A fiancé? Yes. Well, uh, congratulations. Gatry, do you have something in your eye? Oh, don't worry about me. <laughs> as long as you're happy. <laughs> Gatry, where are you going? Gatry goes off bawling, and it's kind of just played as this uh, cutesy little thing. Oh, poor Gatry, got, he, got, he got diddled again. But I'm thinking, well, poor Gatry. He finally found someone that could work for him, and she's taken, kind of. It's not like she wants to marry Lacane, it's just, you know. Heck, he even says he thinks Astrid is hinting that he should steal her fiance away. But that never happens. Even in Radiant Dawn, they don't even share a line of dialogue together. Even though he could be a bit of a flirt, Gatry is a good dude at the end of the day, and he gets nothing for it. And why doesn't he get anything for it? You wanna, you wanna take a guess? It's because of fucking Makalov! AKA the worst character in all of Fire Emblem. Yeah, you heard me. Provided that for whatever reason you decided to have Astrid get A support with him, she gets with Makalov at the end of Radiant Dawn. 
Even the other characters acknowledge that Makalov is a shitty person who gives no respect to anyone, especially her, and yet she still defends him, talking about how he's her faded person. It makes no sense and it just makes me mad thinking about <sighs> Okay. So, instead of that, let's play a little game and replace Makalov here with Gatry. Let's set them up so that not only does it stay consistent with Astrid's character arc in both games, but also gives Gatry a chance to learn and grow as a character and as a person. Let's start at the beginning. In all honesty, you can keep everything mostly the same in Path of Radiance. When Astrid runs from home to join the Knights of Benyon, Gatry gets signed on as a bodyguard for her since she's not really all that experienced in a fight. Which makes sense in gameplay actually since she's also considered the trainee unit of this game, a la Amelia, Ross, Donald, Mozu, etc. Thus, in their supports, given that Astrid trusts Gatry, she asks him to train her. Gatry obviously sees this as an opportunity to get in her pants, so he obviously accepts. And Astrid, being kinda naive, doesn't really notice. Similarly, at the end of the A support, Gatry finds out that Astrid has a fiancé, and this upsets Gatry, obviously. However, instead of playing it comedically, like the normal game, Astrid actually catches on that Gatry was trying to ask her out. Astrid has actually secretly taken to Gatry, as he's been her helpful guardian for quite some time now, guiding her as she makes a life of her own. She does want him, but is unable to act on her feelings, so she lets him down easy saying all this to him, but saying that she can't reciprocate, subtly hinting that she doesn't approve of the marriage she has been set up with. So now, Gatry wanting to steal Astrid away is no longer played for laughs, but actually sets up a way for Gatry to learn that indirect flattery and niceties aren't the way but rather gaining a person's trust and respect is the first and most important step to a healthy relationship. If Astrid and Gatry have an A support, before the final map of Path of Radiance, Gatry asks Astrid to become a knight for Crimea, which she delightfully accepts after giving it some thought, finally severing her ties with Benyon from her former fiancé and gives her a reason to be there in Radiant Dawn. Flash forward to Radiant Dawn and things play out most of the same again for a while, except the fated person is now Gatry instead of Makalov. It honestly makes way more sense that this would be the case. You can even have Marcia questioning Astrid on her choices considering she's had her own runnings with Gatry's lecherous ways, to which Astrid can actually defend Gatry without seeming like a complete idiot. I mean, it makes sense. Gatry may be a bit of a ladies' man, but he's always a respectful person. We can even have Gatry get an exclusive dialogue with Duke Lacane during his boss fight. Near the end of the game, Gatry formally confesses his love, to which Astrid accepts on the condition he stop flirting with other girls, similar to endings like Selena and Laszlo from Fire Emblem Fates. And thus, Gatry finally gets the ending he deserves with a wonderful girl, Astrid doesn't have to end up with a cheating, gambling, uncaring scumbag who refuses to change for anyone including himself. The end! Now I hear what you're saying. Well then what happens to Makalov? And obviously, I have a perfect answer to that question. Fuck em. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And special thanks to my friend Ash, aka Mbell, for lending me her voice as Astrid. If you want to see more like this, you can click up here to see the video I did on Rowan, the worst Fire Emblem Lord possibly, maybe, kinda? And if you want more videos like this, leave a comment and tell me who you want me to cover. And uh, yeah, I don't know how to do end cards, so. Bye.